it pained me deep inside to not be able to go to my home track of Dover International Speedway this weekend. But that is why we have the Pro Invitational Series as they rolled on to the Monster Mile. Thanks to a successful invert this week, Ross Chastain leads the field to green as Barney does his thing. Lap 14, Miles claims his first victim, or victims, I should say. Daniel Suarez gets loose off turn two as Kevin Harvick, Chad Fincham, Matt Benedetto all pile in. Nine laps later, two heavy hitters get together. Hometown hero Timmy Hill turns Parker Clickerman for the runner-up spot as a 77 goes into the turn one wall hard. Lap 51, Kurt Busch can't save it off two, and they all pile in once again. And how about Austin Dilling riding the heck out of the wall? Be safe out there, please. Past halfway with 44 laps remaining. Alex Bowman gets together with Suarez down the front stretch, and they all pile in once again. Every spot matters, people. You got to fight for him. Some drama with 15 to go as John Hunter Nemechek intentionally wrecks Denny Hamlin. You see how the 38 just disappeared? Yeah, that was him piecing out knowing he'd get disqualified anyways. The ultimate winning move with seven laps to go. You know who did it. William Byron, of course. He blows by Hill on those four fresh tires and pulls away from there. Slick Willie B wins his third Pro Invitational Series race in the last four and once again shows why he is Mr. iRacing. Christopher Bell, Hill, Eric Jones, and Michael McDowell rounded out the top five from Delaware. One last hurrah for the Pro Invitational Series before we get back to the real thing in South Carolina. And why not go to North Carolina and North Wilkesboro Speedway? I'm excited for this one because I was born in 1996, and that's the last year that the Cup Series ran at North Wilkesboro. I've never seen a race on TV there. I've only seen highlights and heard of the legend of North Wilkesboro. Not on Sunday, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on the Fox Family Networks. Probably going to be the last iRace for a while at least. Take that as it is. I'm going to tune in. I hope you will too.